so this will be picking back up where we left off was um, on a function block. Uh, remember we did our function block timer, our timer example. This will be picking up and I want to show a highlight of a simple, uh, another instruction is the select uh, uh, function of this uh, instruction. So basically what we'll do is quickly go over what we're, we're dealing with is we have no physical hardware so we're using the the uh, RS Logics Emulate 5000 chassis and we're in slot 1 so just to kind of go over that and then our processor um, we're basically in uh, on version I'm sorry we're on version 20.15 so without that or without further ado we'll go ahead and uh, download to the processor Again, it should be pretty quick. It's just a uh, it's a short program. So um, now we're at this point. Um, we're in our timer. So I'll go ahead and X this out. Um, under our main task, which is running at a periodic task at 47 milliseconds, and our main program is just calling our JSR to our um, timer example uh, function block. So at this point, we want to start pending edits. And we'll click, if you didn't know where this was, like it normally starts in your favorites and add-ons, so you just basically go on and it's select units, or select limit. Just drag it down. And what you can do is you can say, and we'll, we'll keep our same scenario here. And we'll have this kind of space it out so it's it's easier. And what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll delete this, put it over here, and then we'll we'll come in and, and uh, so right now just to kind of go back over this, the timer is you know a free running timer. Uh, we have it enabled or disabled based upon the uh, status of this timer enable bool bit, right? Now uh, this bool uh, data type. So what we want to do is we want to be able to change the preset. Uh, so what we can do is we can say uh, like select in. <coughs> we can we will put first off we put the destination out to preset, and then uh, basically we'll put the uh, select in. We can have the first preset is one like uh, one second, and we'll do the the next preset it at something different. So, so you can see the difference. So we'll put this one at. Um, like five seconds just so you can see the difference and what I'd like to do is say so we'll do select we'll just make a bit to say select uh, preset and, and we'll toggle this and make sure when you're making a tag, um, always make sure that you're in the right right data type. So in this case, we want a bool. We just want a bit. So just simply type in bool. Or you can just, I mean, it, it will auto-populate if you need it to. So um, just keep that in mind. So right off, we'll go ahead and test this. And if you could imagine what was going to happen, what's going to happen first, I'm not going to actually... I'm not going to highlight on, on what would happen first, but I'd like for you to kind of guess for yourself. So um, we're going to go ahead and run it, and, and I'll show you. So you can imagine that the select preset bit, which is a bool, right, is indexed to a zero. So it's obviously selecting the first input. Now, let's do this. Let's change. Let's go to tag monitor. And let's change this to a one, and then go back to the example and see how it changes to a uh, five millisecond or uh, five seconds now. So that makes the, chi the the timer simply on the fly without having to change much. We can simply just have something toggle this bit. So let's do this. Let's take this tag and let's go into the main routine, and we'll say. Um, we'll just do another little like like a timer or something. So we'll, we'll make it real quick. 
make a real quick flasher timer just a ladder logic flasher timer and so let's do this flasher one and then we'll copy this timer we'll put that as two and then we'll put our proper bits in there and I know I'm kind of doing this quick because this is not the point of what you know the the tag. I, I want to show you the function block side of it, not the pro, not the actual, um, not the actual ladder logic. I mean that's that's pretty simple. Although if you're or if you're getting something out of this, great. I mean it's, so we'll put that in there. We'll also put that down there, and we'll get this running. So now we want to come back in here and pick our bit, which is our bit right here. Copy that. Go back up here and say, uh, let's just say this. Let's say paste on, and then we'll throw we'll throw this on there. So, well, what you will see this time is what you're going to see right now. Is you're going to see this timer or the select for the timer change so what I'm trying to highlight is basically that you can change your timer or you can try you can change change a preset of something using a select value and you can name that I think you can take the select uh, well it's just two right now so um, you can take and you can use this as an in and out so you can actually put an enable on this just like we did on the the, uh, the counter or the timer so you can enable it if you want to disable it um, by you know not having it bit high so if we if, if we took away this let's just do this real quick just kind of illustrate what happens then it would wouldn't do nothing all right actually it, it it didn't take let's see it might not take yeah it might not take unless I actually come in here so let's do this Let's come in here and let's make this visible. And now that's visible, and we'll throw a zero in front of it. And then whatever it is will stay constant. It won't actually work because we're not actually enabling it. So even if this goes one or zero, it doesn't change states right here. However, if we were to make this a one, right? then that would be enabling that instruction which is the select instruction and it would still come back and, talk and change states so you can use it like that um, if you needed to use you know it's kind of a higher process as to say you know kind of like a, a different scenario um, you can enable that out um, you, this is a very I would say a very powerful tool uh, you can use it for many different things this is just a really really simple illustration and and uh, I guess a way of setting it up to, to show you how this works. <laughs> um, you can you can I see it I've seen it used a lot in uh, in like process loops and stuff like that and maybe like drive lineups and stuff and just I mean it, it's really helpful is is when you get breakdown stuff like that. So again, this is the select instruction and this is you know basically a simple way of, of adding it to what we've already had on the, our previous video. If you have not seen the previous video on the timer, um, you can just simply go back and, and check that too. I'll put it on the show notes below so that you can actually go back and look at that. Um, and we'll also, I'll tie in a couple different, um, well actually I'll tie in my whole YouTube channel for like servo controls and uh, structured text and stuff like that. So real quick, I just wanted to make a short video on adding, how to add a select instruction, how to use it. Um, personally, I like to keep everything is lined up as possible so I mean it just makes it cleaner right so uh, we just want to have a nice flow um, so again I just want to keep this short and sweet uh, get to the point and how to use the uh, and you can always like go in and I think it's instruction help and see that like, different points of the instruction help but uh, what I just shown you will show you basically 
um, a better representation. I know me, visual, uh, me being the person I am, I'm a, a more of a visual person. I see when I see stuff how and how it's used and how it reacts. Um, reading it, I mean, it just it's something I I turn to if I need to. Um, you know, it's it's easy just for me to like play with stuff like this. So um, I've seen it, like I said, I've seen it a lot, a lot on process loops, a lot on uh, control systems like drives and stuff like that. So again, if you uh, if you want to know more or something like that, or if you want me to dig into further and and, and uh, like function blocks and, and other stuff. Just uh, leave me a comment below and uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Thank you.